Now, thankfully, I tend to forget that this person exists, which is great. Uh, she exists in, in her own little area of the internet, uh, you know, pushing the same old tired grift that's been going on for the past six years. But I am morbidly curious uh, in on Gothic's, Gothic's arguments on uh, why she refuses to wear face masks. I'm always really interested in that sort of thing because, like, okay, there is plenty of positions where you want to take an ideological stance and you want to stand on your convictions and make sure that, you know, my rights are being maintained, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you can, generally speaking, get a good idea of a person's priorities depending on how they respond to inconveniences, especially in the case of, like, you know, an emergency, like a, like a, like a global pandemic, right? Yeah? Uh, so I'm just I'm curious about her whole arguments on why she refuses to wear face masks. So let's go. Recently, I was having a conversation with a friend who wanted to plan some type of a group outing between us and some other friends. And as we were going over all of our options of what we wanted to do, I kept posing the question, do you know if these establishments require us to wear masks? And if they do, then we can't go. And when I said this, my friend was very confused <laughs> because from his perspective, it doesn't take much effort to pull a mask out and wear it if you wanted to go to the movies or go to a uh, dinner or wherever. And he's right. Yeah, it, it doesn't it doesn't take much. It literally doesn't take hardly anything at all. I yeah, no, I I don't it's very, very strange to me. Um <laughs> and if I was hanging out with a group of friends and uh if I was hanging out with a group of friends and for some goddamn reason uh they're they're one of the people was like, Well, we can't go anywhere where we, we have to wear a mask, I would tell them not to go with us. Unless they have like some actual legitimate fucking reason. Like they have 15% lung capacity or some shit. And if that's the case, they shouldn't be leaving the fucking house anyway while there's COVID, you know? Like, what the fuck? He's totally right. But what my friend fails to realize, and mm. this is what I think is happening amongst the general consensus of mask wearers, is that they're not looking at the bigger picture. So that's what I wanted to do for this video is to provide an argument as to why I think nobody should be complying with mask mandates. Even if you see a sign that says masks required, I would still personally, I would still try to go in, try to go in. and. So you're an asshole and you don't care about other people. That's fine. Yeah, no, sure. That's fine. You can totally do that. And if they say you need to leave, then leave and go somewhere else. But before I actually get into this, I want to just preface by saying that I'm speaking on a local level. I'm speaking on the level of these are things that we don't necessarily need in our life. Airlines, doctor's offices, hospitals, these are places that are going to demand that you wear a mask. Yeah. And if you don't comply, that could potentially mean you get added to a no-fly list yeah. or you're denied medical care. And uh, sort of. And I know most people that are watching this don't know how to operate on themselves or they don't know how to fly a plane. So unfortunately, in these circumstances, I'm not going to be addressing that. But I do want to talk about the local levels, movie theaters, restaurants, other things that you don't necessarily. OK, OK, OK. So uh, we're, we're going to we're, we're shifting this argument very specifically, not to a larger general conversation because if we did that then you could make very salient arguments as to why there are reasons to wear a mask although i don't think she's she's thinking about it along the science of it but just the consequences so instead we're just going to talk about why she thinks that you should be a pest like she is okay really need going to concerts stuff like that so why do I refuse to wear a mask. That's the first question. And in order for me to convey this to you, I need to first explain that mask usage is just a small mechanism of a larger set of tools that are being used to control society and lead society in one particular direction. Right. So it has nothing to do with the pandemic. It's a PSYOP. See, it's a PSYOP by the shadow government. 
in order to make you a sheeple, so you will comply. And uh, yeah, you would. You, one would think um, that uh, this this grand grand plan, this this huge conspiracy, um, they could have. Uh, what is it? Because they they just now managed to like make a bioweapon or some shit. Like this is so fucking weird. Or are they just banking on the uh, happens to be pandemic? Let's start off by going over what wearing a mask signals to other people. The mm. first is if you put a mask on, it signals that you're fearful of COVID. No, it does not. Because masks do not protect you from COVID. They protect other people from your exhalation, which might contain COVID. That you, you, you fucking morons continue to push this idea that people wear masks to protect themselves. That, that like you have to, you always have to fucking put it that way, so that then you can like show these these like fucking uh, studies and blah 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 blah. Like see, it does work, blah blah blah, and you're afraid. And instead, what it actually is is wearing a mask is signaling that I'm doing my part to try and protect people who are at risk. It's actually extremely patriotic to give a fuck about your fellow countrymen and try and make sure, just in case you fucking have it, you mitigate how much you might spread it. <clears throat> it's, it's so fucking disingenuous. And the thing is, Gothics is not stupid. This, this woman is not stupid. She is very, very smart. And she knows that. But she lies that you think that COVID is going to kill other people or you think that it's going to kill you and therefore you want to wear the mask to stop the spread. And the other reason people tend to wear Good. masks is because they want to show their compliance to their government. No, nobody wants to show compliance to the government. Nobody likes wearing masks. Nobody does. Nobody's happy with these mandates. Nobody's happy with lock-ins and social distancing. Nobody is down. Nobody is like, boy, howdy, I just enjoy this so fucking much. Everybody hates it. It sucks. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. Aside from the fact that we're, I didn't get a cold for the past year and a half, which is pretty nice. Regardless, these two reasons that people wear masks are one and the same. <laughs> okay, apparently some people in the chat uh, get horny from wearing masks. Okay, well, hey, fuck, you do you. Because if you're fearful of COVID, you're going to listen to those in higher authority to uh, await for more instructions because you're putting your faith in the government for the government to come and save you from this virus. So either way... How, where, how, when, in what way? What? What? Who the fuck makes that argument? Who the fuck thinks that? Hey, whether you're fearful or you just flat out want to obey the government, they're two sides to the same coin. So now let's consider what it signals if you are not wearing a mask. And what that signals is that you're either not afraid of COVID or you don't trust the government, which is, again, two sides of the same coin. Because if you're not fearful of COVID, you're less likely to pay attention to whatever the CDC has to say, whatever the government has to say, whatever anyone, any of the scientists or the- So you're selfish. So basically you're selfish. You're just saying that if you did, you're signaling that you're fucking selfish, okay. The experts, you're less likely to listen to them, thus you're less likely to comply with these mandates. So now the question is, how will the government benefit from enforcing masks? Okay, before we get into this kind of thing, I just need to I need to make it a point here. If you're one of those I will not comply sorts of people, okay? The only thing you're signaling is that you shit your pants. Hear me out. Wearing a mask, especially during a global fucking pandemic, is doing your part to do what we as society are collectively trying to do to tackle an issue. We could call that a societal standard. Another societal standard that we tend to have and have had for a very long time is we don't poop our pants in public. We have a long-standing tradition, for the most part, of the vast majority of our populace not pooping their pants in public. Does it happen? Yes, it does. When it happens, what do we think of those people? You okay? Or, oh my god, or... I think we know we need to go to a different restaurant, okay? That's what tends to be the case. The effect of being a I will not comply is shitting your pants in public. The only difference is, 
is that if you shit your pants in public, people from a distance might not be able to tell. Whereas if you are running around without a mask, brazenly defying it, and especially because these types of insufferable fucking people can't help but make it a point to point out their fucking fees, it's like somebody shaking a big pant load full of shit and screeching, I just pooped, I just pooped. I I'm sorry, but that's what it translates to. This idea that it's brazen is, is it, like, and the thing is too, if you're bragging about it, it's like pooping your pants in public and furiously jacking off in front of everybody. Nobody cares. Shut the fuck up. Sit the fuck down and put on a mask and get the shit out of your pants. Oh my god. Mask mandates. Now, I have some notes right here that I'm going to read off. Uh, but as I'm going through this, I need you to recognize, again, that this is just a small fraction of a larger set of tools that are being used to direct society in one particular direction. But these are all interconnected, and I'll be able to show you this later down the line. So uh, mask mandates, how will the government benefit? The first and probably most obvious is societal division. And an easy way to- Societal division. Yeah, okay, it's societal division. Because the government is banking on people being selfish pieces of shit with poop in their pants and screeching about it rather than trying to stem something that's killing the citizens. Taxpayers, mind you. Taxpayers. Also, if really we're going to be living in this, this like 1984 fucking authoritarian hellscape, you would think that they wouldn't like masks because that is going to, it's going to knock down the ability for like facial recognition and weird pre-crime fucking technology and shit like that. Like it doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Way to look at this is just uh, listen to the rhetoric that's in a lot of the liberal mainstream media. Well, maskless protesters causing a scene and putting other people at risk in Century City. That's exactly right, yeah. They stormed through shopping malls and supermarkets to spread their message, but public health officers worry they could also spread the virus. Sabotaging. It's like... Uh, why is Gothic showing like some fucking crazy, crazy woman without a mask, like trying to run people over the fucking the the fucking cart? These people are crazy. A return to normal. Another state going against the science tonight. Tonight, the state of Wyoming announcing it will repeal its mask mandate. And if they keep beating this idea into your head that mask will help slow the spread, then those that wear the masks, those that comply, are going to be more likely to blame the unmasked for prolonging the pandemic. Because they have. We can show it. Like when they say it's a pandemic of the unvaccinated, the numbers don't fucking lie. It's it's just obvious to see. We have actual fucking legit evidence of it. And you're like, well, this is all about people expressing their freedoms. No! What the fuck? It, like, you're literally arguing against fucking reality so you can feel justified in shitting your pants in public. Congratulations. Because everyone wants to get back to normal, right? Now, on the other side of this, you have those that refuse to wear the mask who are going to become agitated because they're being ostracized and segregated from society. So the other thing that... No, no. And also, uh, unvaccinated anti-vaxxers have already had to deal with repercussions for a long time. And we're all, we've all been cool with it. We've all been cool with it because... The fact of the matter is, is when they're talking about un like anti-vaxxers, it doesn't directly affect them. It affects their kids. Like if you don't get your kids vaccinated, they can't go to uh, public school. And yes, that is an inconvenience, but it's more of a problem that they have to wear a piece of cloth over their fucking mouth. Jesus Christ. That the government can benefit from by enforcing these mask mandates is... Very sickening to me, but it you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, and oh, it is so exploiting the so mental much. health crisis um, because people that are mentally unstable are more inclined to behave erratically and make decisions that are out of the norm for them. Depression caused from mass segregation. So think about all of the students that are not allowed to get an education in schools. Kids learn to speak. Wh whomst do you mean the unvaccinated kids or what the kids that are like fucking brainwashed by their parents so they don't have to wear a fucking mask blah 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 like jesus christ dude shut the fuck up if anybody's doing any harm to these fucking kids it's their goddamn parents speak by recognizing 
mouth movements, by reading lips. And if you have a mask on all the time, these kids are not going to be able to pick up on these cues to work on their speech. There's actually... Do, do, do these people wear masks at home? Like, it, it, are they in their fucking houses with masks on trying to talk to their fucking kids and shit? No! No, they're not! The, the, the idea that, oh my god, like, in, because of this emergency situation and because for, like, six to seven hours a day the kids might have masks uh, when they're not eating, that it's going to cause them to not be able to understand empathy or conversation when the rest of their entire life they're, they're unmasked with their fucking parents and shit like that. What the fuck? It makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. These arguments by these dumb fuck anti-mask, anti-vaxxers hold absolutely no fucking water if you think about it for longer than 20 seconds. It's so fucking infuriating. It is idiotic. It's so fucking infuriating, dude. Oh my god. There's been studies out about this where a lot of kids are falling behind in learning how to communicate. We've seen a 364% increase in patient referrals of babies and toddlers from pediatricians and parents. And they are children that are having a difficult time speaking. Speech delayed. And okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Speech and Learning Institute Clinic Director. Okay, this in specific is talking about kids that are going to have delays and whatnot and have to get into special programs and that sort of thing. Maybe she has a point, sure. But kids that are going to have like these types of, of problems and delays are going to have to get into programs anyway. Maybe, uh, well, and it might exacerbate it to a certain extent, sure. But these are cases of kids that are going to be having a little bit of a stumbling block to achieve it anyway. The vast majority are fine. And the thing is, too, what a lot of people don't want to pay attention to and they don't want to fucking admit is that even if something like this does happen on a minor scale, that it sucks... But if we actually didn't have to deal with these unvaccinated, anti-vaxxer, anti-mass dickheads, we would have had a much better control on this sort of thing, and we wouldn't have had as much of a problem. We would not have to be wearing masks right now if not for the fact that we couldn't get these self-righteous, selfish pieces of shit to just do the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Like, the reason why this pandemic has gone on as long as it has is their fault. It's their fault. And, it, like, they hate when you point it out, too. You're like, no, it's my freedom. Fuck your freedom, dude. You're causing all of us to have to, like, delay and, and not have, uh, like, our freedom as much as possible. I'm so fucking sick of this shit. God, dude, how long, like, at this point, over two years. Two years now we've had to fucking deal with this shit. Girls of babies and toddlers from pediatricians and parents. Babies and toddlers. Wait. Wait. Babies and toddlers? Hang on. Holy shit, dude. Hang on. Pull the- wait, wait, wait. These kids are not going to be able to pick up on these cues to work on the- She's- <coughs> She's talking about mass mandates in schools. Mask mandates in schools, okay? Listen to this shit. Ma this is the- this is the kind of lying- Piece of shit that I'm so fucking sick of. Listen to what she says. She's talking about mass mandates in schools. Going to be able to pick up on these cues to work on their speech. There's actually been studies out about this where a lot of kids are falling behind in learning how to communicate. We've seen a 364% increase in patient referrals of babies and toddlers from... Babies and toddlers. Gothics, how many fucking babies and toddlers are in fucking school? How many? The answer is none. This is not fucking evidence for your fucking argument. Holy shit. I can't believe I didn't even pick up on that at first. All oh, these mass mandates are terrible. Here's proof. Oh, the babies and toddlers. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Pediatricians and parents. And they are children that are having a difficult time speaking. Speech delayed. And on the other side of that, you also have to consider the students that are being sent home because they refuse to put on a mask. You're essentially withholding their education until they comply. Basically, put a fucking mask on the kids so the kid can go to school.
basically making for a really dumb society, if I could put it bluntly. No, what you're doing is you have a bunch of people who shit their pants, making their ki forcing their kids to shit their pants. Th that's fucked up. Yeah, all those 12th grade toddlers. Yeah, 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 absolutely. My kid is three and he's lecturing at the local college. Checkmate, Jeff Holiday. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh my God, dude, what the fuck? Oh my fucking God, dude, this is so fucking inane. Or think about the people that are not allowed to see their loved ones in nursing homes or in hospitals. Or Gee, it would be great if everybody had done their fucking part so we could go back to that. That would have been awesome. Or the people wound. that, like I said earlier, aren't allowed to <sighs> enjoy themselves in society. You can't go to the movie theater. You can't go to the restaurant unless you wear a mask. You're going to uh, start adding this level of depression and anxiety on So wear a fucking mask. Them Because now they have to decide, do I want to comply with this charade? Well, if I just do as they say, maybe I'll get a chance to enjoy my life is, is what these mask mandates are sort of encouraging. It's, I swear to God, you can always take it back to the fucking seatbelt argument, you know? Like, God, I would love to be able to drive to the movies and go see a movie, but you know, I could get in trouble for wearing a fucking seatbelt. And I, I'm all about freedom, baby. Fuck off. Put on your fucking seatbelt. Stop shitting your pants and wear a fucking mask. The other thing that mask mandates will do is cause confusion and stress among the public. The conversation surrounding whether or not masks are actually beneficial to sleep. Why is this still being discussed though? Isn't, aren't masks slowly disappearing from public? Yeah, th it is. Whether that's a good idea or not, we're going to find out in about five weeks. Uh, you know, so we'll see. We'll see. But no, it's... This is just, this is gothics banking on, uh, you know, the anti-vaxxer crowd as much as possible. Just mm, mwah, 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 slurping up that anti-vax fucking audience as much as she can. Slowing the spread of COVID has been debunked time and time and time again on the media, from the White House, from the experts. What they're doing is they're going back and forth, and that's actually confusing no. Uh, society as a whole. Now, unless you're some- Now, the only people confusing society are dumbass shitheads like you. You, sowing seeds of, of, like, fucking discord and these stupid fucking arguments of how we should shit our fucking pants and how this science doesn't fucking work. What is my source? Uh, a bunch of anti-vax fucking sources. Okay, alright, great, fantastic. Someone that's very- It's so- it's so irritating when somebody is obviously the fucking problem. And they're going to blame literally everything but themselves because money. Because as much as she likes to make the, the whole joke of like, oh, you know, people call me a grifter. You are a fucking grifter. You are. You're a disingenuous, pants-shitting grifter. Fuck you. Observant and you're always constantly observing these inconsistencies of this information, you're going to look at the other side as being selfish or you don't want to put a mask on because uh, you just you only care about yourself. And yeah. That's exactly what it is. And by the way, I recognize that those N95 masks, those are actually helpful in uh, dealing with COVID, but the majority of the general public don't have access to those. Incorrect. And also, I anything helps. Literally anything helps. A fucking bandana over your face helps. Is it perfect protection? Well, no. No. Nothing is. Nothing's perfect protection of fucking anything. But is it better than nothing? Yeah. Yeah. They have those flimsy cloth masks, stuff you pick up from the dollar store. Uh -huh. What logical reason would there be to mandate people continue wearing masks when the general population doesn't have access to those N95 masks anyway? Because masks work. Even just the most basic. Basic works. It helps. It absolutely fucking helps. At that point, it looks more of a performance than actually helping slow the spread of anything. Yeah, when you fucking lie to people and tell them that, yeah, sure. I swear to fucking God. <sighs> Don't wear a cloth mask. Cloth masks are little more than facial decorations. The other thing that is- Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck? Why? What? what how is this evidence of fucking anything? Who anything. the fuck is this? Don't wear a Dr. Liana Wen. CNN medical analyst, analyst, okay? When the fuck was that recorded? 
Is this around? Is this like a seven day average? Do, 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 do. I mean, fuck, dude. Whatever. Take it out of context. What is that? Like a two second clip? Brilliant. I'm convinced. Does she have any fucking sources in here? I'm really curious. Nope. None. Nope. Nothing. Source is uh, me. <laughs> fuck. Christ. A cloth mask. Cloth masks are little more than facial decorations. The other thing that is resulting from mask mandates is more money for the pharmaceutical industry. Think about it. As I said, if you have a society that is depressed because they're being segregated because of the masks. Hey, if you want to argue in favor of socialized medicine, including seizing the means of medication, based, based comrade gothics. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. I'm super down. I'm super down. You know, government mandated limits on how much you could charge for fucking life saving medication. Yeah. Yeah. Because if ever there is an example of capitalism failing to serve the people, it's the fucking pharmaceutical and medical industries. 100 fucking percent, dude. 100 percent. People unnecessarily suffer and fucking die every fucking day because of that bullshit. But it's what we have. And to be like, well, I guess I'll just die for my convictions because I, I don't like the, the fucking pharmaceutical industry. Shut the fuck up. It, it's just, it's so, it's so inane and stupid. People like this don't risk a fucking thing with these arguments. They don't risk a fucking thing with these positions because the truth of the matter is, I guarantee you, if Gothics wants to go to a restaurant bad enough, she's going to put on a fucking mask. And then she's going to come home and she's going to take her mask off and she's going to do all this performative fucking bullshit and try and convince a bunch of gullible people who are believing that she knows what she's talking about to go and act like idiots and poop their pants in public. Just is what it fucking is, dude. I'm so sick of this shit. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of these fucking grifters making it fucking worse. They are the problem. Thanks very much, very much for pooping your pants and causing undue, unnecessary suffering and death. Well done. Well done.